Hi, my name is Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to add a number without changing the formula in Excel. Uh, what, what this means is that uh, sometimes you want to have an Excel spreadsheet where people can change certain numbers, but the formulas that do calculations, you don't want them to inadvertently change for, for a variety of reasons. So there are a couple of different menus that are important and that are used. And let, let, me, let me show them to you and then I'll show you what, you what you actually do. The first one is in the Tools menu and it may lo look a little different depending on your particular version of Excel and your, your operating system. But in the Tools menu, there'll always be something called Protection and Protect Sheet. And what that does is that says that, that if, if you go ahead and say OK to this, it means that nobody can change anything in the, in the sheet. And you can see the default, the default values are, are to allow the users to select the locked cells, select the unlocked cells, so they can select and look at things, but they can't change anything. They can't format the cells, they can't, um, you know, they can't change anything. And sometimes that, that, that's fine, that's what you want to do. Um, but uh, we're, we're going to at least allow the users to, to change some numbers. Uh, the other menu is in the format menu, uh, um, under format, cells, oops, I hope I didn't, oh, okay, I, I inadvertently protected, okay. The other menu is the, is the format menu, and in the format menu under format cells, there's an item called protection, and under protection you'll see that the default is it's locked. So if you protect the sheet, every cell is locked. What we want to do though is we want to unlock certain cells, the ones that we do want to allow the users to change. So I'm going to cancel out of that and I'm going to go, you should do things in the order that I'm going to show you now, now that you've seen those two menus. The first one is to go to the cells that you do want the user to change and select them. So what I have here is a, is a sheet, it's a fictional team and I've got the player's name, the number of games they played, the number of points, and those are the things I want somebody to be able to change but I don't want somebody to inadvertently change the formula where it calculates the points per game. And I don't want them to be able to change the players' names. So I select the cells that I do want them to change. I go to the Format menu, Format, Cells, and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna unselect Locked, which means that those cells will not be locked. And I say OK. And now I go to the Tools menu, Tools, Protection, Protect Sheet, and I'm going to say OK, and so and I'm, you, you can type in a password, so I'll go ahead, Excel, and verified Excel. OK, now everybody knows my password. And I'm going to say OK, and now let's test and see if that worked. Let's see, if, let's try to change the points per game for the first person, and we start typing, and oops, we got an error. There says the cell or chart you're trying to change is protected and therefore read only. Okay, so that worked. Let's say we want to change somebody's name. We start typing, whoops, that didn't work either. Okay, now let's say we've, we've played another game and I want to start entering in the number. So now we played 11 games and this fellow play, uh, let's say he scored, uh, he's now up to 45 points. And okay, the formula changed. And uh, this guy played another game and he's, he's, let's say he was a big scorer, he had 15 points. Whoops, so now it's up to 105. And um, so, the, so the formulas change based on the input, but you can't go in and type and, and actually change the formula. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to protect a sheet in Excel, make it so that you can enter in numbers but not inadvertently change the formula. Thank you for watching. Thank you.